So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you a new concept. We're going to use the MVR5i artificial intelligent device with back end face recognition and the TOC camera. When we comprise these two devices together, we are going to create an access control solution. Okay, let me show you this uh, concept that we've created here. So we've got the MVR5i there, we've got the TOC camera here, and I have rigged up a super temporary connection, which is the two core going to the normally open, normally closed of the actual camera. So what I'm gonna do, my face is in the database of this MVRI, I will remove this sticker, it will then in fact actually recognize me, short out the actual camera's relay, and then of course that will tell this door to open. Currently, door is locked, so let's test. Perfect. Let me show you how we did that. Okay, so step one, a text-to-speech program. Now there will be thousands of different text-to-speech programs on the internet. Uh, I just got you know, one of the top five from Google. So uh, let's see, so here we are, free text-to-speech software. I've already put in Colin access denied and I've selected a voice. Now, whenever I activate Audacity, then let's get a new track here. So I'm gonna click on add new mono track. I'm going to change the megahertz reading immediately. So of course that's going to be rate 8000 hertz. Okay. And as you can see by next to the microphone there, it says the stereo sound mixer. So anything that actually comes out of my speakers, Audacity is going to record. So basically I'm going to press record on Audacity, preview on the actual, you know, text to speech web page, And then of course we should be good. So let's just test. So record. Preview, back. Colin, access denied. Perfect, All right, so stop that. Let's get rid of anything that we don't need. So just delete that. You can see in the timeline, I've actually created a two second audio clip. Now you're gonna see later on in the GUI that of course when we actually select our audio file from the MVR, it will also have a second counter of your audio file. So I've set my MVR later on to be two seconds, and of course this file is two seconds. If you have a mismatch in time, then of course the MVR may repeat the actual file over and over. So for example, if I made a one second clip saying no access, and the MVR was set to four seconds, it would say no access four times, okay? So do try to actually match up your seconds here with your, your seconds on the MVR. Okay, right, so at the moment I've got a two second clip and nice and simple. Colin, access denied. Colin, access denied. So, file, export as .wav. And I'm just going to replace a previous file that I created earlier on. So, of course, it's a .wav format. And of course, at the bottom, it says encoding signed 16-bit PCM, okay, which was one of the actual file formats that the TOC camera is expecting. So I press save on this one here. And yes, I do want to replace my previous one. And then export, okay? So that's that bit done. Stage one, text-to-speech complete. Stage two, Audacity recording the audio file in a specific file format. Right, next, stage three. So now we need to log into the camera's head. Now remember this, it is better to actually modify a camera opposed to in fact actually a recorder trying to modify a camera. It is much simpler just to be able to log directly into the device. So I have pre-planned that. So here is our user page for the actual camera. So let's just log in quickly. Okay, we're in. So click settings, top right hand corner. Audio on the left, alarm audio at the top. And of course you can actually see the 10 pre-embedded audio files into the device. So of course like uh, there's po popular ones here like uh, you are under surveillance. You are under surveillance. Exactly. So add audio file, upload. Let's browse to a location on the computer. So music, let's say Colin, access denied. Double click and upload. Upload successful, okay? 
So then now I will actually see that. So it says at the top of the web page here, Colin access denied. So if we play this. Colin access denied. Okay. So now stage three is complete. So of course, what we've done now, all three stages complete, text to speech, audio uh, to Audacity with a particular file format, log into the actual Canvas web page, and then of course, upload to the audio file. Okay. And then of course, like now the camera is ready. Okay, let's take our camera to the MVR and let's do the next step. Okay, let me show you on the MVR's GUI on what settings we selected to be able to create that concept. So, right hand button, main menu, AI. Make sure that of course, obviously when you do face recognition that of course, obviously your face detection is enabled. You can't do face recognition without face detection, of course. So I'm just checking face detection for channel one is enabled face recognition for channel one is enabled and then of course under the general alarm where I've called a database Chris then when we click on triggers on the far right hand side here then of course for the first time you can see this more option now that never used to be there but now that is our new feature so when you click on more then of course remote device alarm output so of course this section here is actually talking about the teoc camera so of course in this case here whenever my face came into the field of view i shorted out the normally open normally closed relay of the actual teoc camera for 10 seconds in colin's case colin triggered the stranger alarm and if i click on more here then of course the control was then to in fact actually do camera audio for two seconds with the file name Colin access denied and of course triggered the warning light. So of course this is how we complete the solution. See that worked very well and of course obviously my face is in the database. Now Colin's face is not in the database so I suspect whenever Colin comes into the field of view we're going to have a completely different response. Let's take a look. Okay, with this new feature on the MVR I and of course working with TOT cameras, we can control access in certain environments within the building. I'm allowed through this door, Colin is not allowed through this door. If Colin was to just follow me in, then of course it will upset the TOT cameras and of course the alarm will go off again. So then of course we are using a automation feature to control who should be allowed in this room. Okay, to finalize this excellent solution is the wide range of products that this feature will work on. So this is a VTL2 series, and of course, in this case here, the NVRI will be able to control the relay of this particular device based on whose face is in the field of view. This is a VTL6, and it will be able to do the same. If you wanted to go to extreme, this is a AMPR camera ITC 215, I believe. And of course, it will be able to control the relays of this device as well based on the face within the field of view. So of course, with that said, you have a wide range of applications you will be able to deploy this new feature to. Okay, as you can see, that was a great solution. If you're interested in the products that you've seen here today, then go to the form on our landing page and our sales team will be in contact. This new feature will of course obviously be shown in our DHSP Artificial and Intelligent Training Course. And of course, if you want to attend any of these training courses, please click on the link below. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. All the best.